What's going on guys? Matt here, service industry coach. As you guys know, I own a home service business, but I also own an e-commerce brand called Brave American, and I'm standing here at our facility right here in Brighton, Michigan, and today I'm gonna tell you what an owner-operator said to one of my employees just two days ago and why his mindset is jacked. All right, so here's what happened. Two days ago, we had a hydraulic line blow on a trash truck that was picking up our dumpster. And basically, when the line blew, it poured a puddle of, of hydraulic fluid all over the parking lot. The driver didn't know. He backs up, he drives through it, and he drives all the way through the parking lot. Now, this parking lot's brand new. It was $100,000 to do last year, and our landlords paid for it. And so right away, our manager calls the landlords and says, hey, this is just what happened. You might want to hire someone or call somebody to get this stuff cleaned up. Long story short, they're over here within a couple minutes. And they say to our manager, Keith, where's Matt and Mitch? Mitch is my business partner in Brave American. And he goes, they're working from home today. He's like, what do you mean they're working from home today? They're always working from home. And Keith goes, well, that's because they don't have to be here every day. And he says, what do you mean they don't have to be here every day? Now keep in mind, this guy owns a woodworking business that has been around for 30 plus years. It's bigger than us, it does more revenue than us, it has more employees than us, but he's stuck. And he goes, what do you mean they don't have to be there every day? And Keith goes, well, it's very simple. They don't need to be at our warehouse facility where we're manufacturing the products because this place runs like a well-oiled machine. And at the end of the day, their job is to not manufacture products. Their job is to sell products so we have products to manufacture. When he asked my manager that, and when he made it sound like he was extremely confused, it was a very easy thing to identify because it's the tried and true owner operator versus multi-truck, multi-employee, whatever you want to call it, argument. And this is an argument that goes through every industry. It's not just the home service business industry. I know you guys see it a lot where guys argue, oh, being an owner operator is better or having employees is better. The reality is that's across the board regardless of what business you're in. You see, this guy has a lot of employees, but he's stuck inside of his business along with his partners. Every single day that place opens, he's there. Every single day he's on a forklift, he's moving bunks of wood, he's cutting wood and aluminum, he's taking product back and forth from warehouse to warehouse. These are all tasks that can 100% be done by the staff members inside of your business. So why does he do it? It's because he's stuck in this belief system that he can do everything better than everybody else. And so he can't let go of certain tasks inside of his business because he can't imagine what that would look like for somebody else to perform the task. And the funny thing is, from an outsider's view looking in, the task that that guy is so hung on that he's, he's gripped to, it's laughable that somebody would have that belief. But when you're inside of your business and it's your baby, it's sometimes hard to get outside of your own head and imagine that somebody else can do the task that you're doing either the same or maybe even better in some instances. This is why our business is on their coattails as far as how much revenue we produce versus how much revenue they produce. They've been around for 27 plus years more than us. And we're almost to the same size as revenue and facility and production as they are. And why is that? It's because from day one, we knew that we could systemize this business in a way where we could empower our employees to take control of their job and do their job well. And at the end of the day, when you empower your employees to do their job well, it gives them a sense of ownership of what they're doing and they will actually be proud of the company they work for. They'll be proud of the task that they're handling, the importance of it. Every guy that works here understands the importance of what they're doing. And at the end of the day, that's why our products turn out amazing. That's why we have so many five-star reviews from our customers. That's why we're growing rapidly. It's because instead of being in the mindset that I can do everything better, listen guys, I could be out in the warehouse right now routering wood because so-and-so didn't router it perfect or painting it because it wasn't painted evenly or or maybe the assembler assembler guy assembled a wooden flag and it's a little bit crooked or whatever but i know if i did it it would have been perfect but guess what at the end of the day if you don't empower your employees to do their job then 
your business will never scale and you're going to be stuck as an owner. And at the end of the day, I don't think any of us as entrepreneurs want to be stuck inside of their business. So empower your employees, begin to develop systems that set your employees up to win. And when your employees are set up to win and they know what they're doing every day, they have clear direction on what they're doing and how it's supposed to be done, your business will scale. It'll be better than before. And at the end of the day, it will give you more freedom of your time. The business will grow financially, which will produce more money for you and your staff members. And you can make a difference in people's lives. Get out of the owner mindset and learn how to systemize your business today.